car bushes or lack of them this is how my car arrived with the, the spacer, the sleeve, the outer cup washers but no bush and there seems to be a bit of debate on whether the inner whether these inner cup washers are free or welded well mine were definitely welded just two spots there and there so they're not expecting a lot of a lot of movement that way you would think because these are pretty lightweight and there's only two welds but definitely factory welded and this is welded on the one side and this is the other side here and they were welded with two spots there and you can see how that's that's worn this, this, this round oval and it had worn through the spacer so whether the bush was knackered and let that happen or this was knackered or let that happen or they've been driving it around with no bushes in I don't know so I've got to try and recreate something to go in here and this is what I've come up with you might recognize these as uh, brake pistons out of a Cortina big hole, threaded hole and some blanks this is one mil steel something like that uh, so the first thing I do is get that pressed into there so here's my die with the big hole in it uh, masking tape across the top and I put a dot in the middle to show me where the center is and ball paint just to start it then a socket I use a copper faced hammer so you don't bash it up too much And a bigger one. And there's my first bit. Right, all my blanks done. And I pushed through a smaller socket on two of them because I'm hoping that I'll be able to fit one inside the other when I get to it, we'll, we'll see um, so that on there, that on there bolt through here And this is really to try and get the, the centre hole and the lip I'm going to fold on it now centralised. It's not as easy as you might think. That's not too bad, he said. Right, it's a bit of bashing now. I've left plenty of material on this. 
so I'm going to do trimming bar. That's a nice snug fit now. That doesn't move anywhere, which is just what I wanted. So straight out the die. And that's why I cut them oversized, because it's, it's really difficult to keep it central when you put that centre hole in. But there's just enough there, so I just eyeball it up. I'm leaving five, five mil. Just take off some of that bottle top edge. And here we've got a bit of flat bar and I've got I've had to put a, um, a backer on this. I've used a file here just to lift that off the off the vise. Because um, this this bottom lip fouls on the vise. I've made my my dish a little bit a little bit deeper than the originals. Anyway, you get the idea, and you end up with something like that. Which is sort of similar. There we are, that all goes together quite nice. So this this one actually threads over that one. And I think that return there is just to add a bit of strength. It doesn't I don't think it really does anything. But there's plenty of room there for that just go through there and it fits on the car nice. Now I've got to centralise these on the car because it's nothing to do with the centre of that bore. It's this this circle here has to line up with that circle there. But I think I've got an idea to sort that out. My first one ready to plug weld. <laughs> 